Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java programming tutorial series video. Today, I will teach you, how to make a Java class immutable. An immutable class is one whose state cannot be changed once created. That is, when an immutable object gets created, there should be no way you can change any property of the object. Let's move ahead to NetBeans IDE and see how this concept works. Friends. In order to make a Java class immutable, let's create a Java class. In Java Tutorials project. Let's create a Java class. Provide a name to it as, immutable class. Keep it in a package as com.hubberspot.immutable. Click Finish. It creates a Java class by name, immutable class. In order to make this Java class as immutable, we have to perform few steps such as First, we have to make our custom Java class as final. We make Java class as final because it will prevent any other Java class to extend it. It will not allow subclasses to override any method, which can result in setting state of object to a different value. Thus, final class in Java cannot be overridden. Moving ahead. Secondly, we have to make all instance variables as final. Let's create a final integer variable by name as immutable field1. Also create a final string variable by name as immutable field2. As we have marked both instance variables as final, we have to somehow provide an initial value. Let's create a Java constructor which will initialize a value for these variables. Once immutable class constructor gets executed, object gets initialized to a value, and thereafter by no way their state can be changed. Third step would be that there should be no setter methods for instance variables. Normally, we provide setter methods to change or set values of instance variable. In order to make class immutable, we have to prevent change of state of an object through setter methods. Therefore, we only proceed and create getters for the two instance variables. Now there is still a step left. If you see instance variables, integer class is already an immutable class in Java. That is once you assign a value to it, you cannot change it. It does not have any setter method to change its value. Therefore, it's okay on our part to provide a getter to it. Even after using immutable field one getter method, there is no way client can change its state. Similar is the case with string instance variable. Here, string class is also an immutable class. Thus, exposing its value through getter method has no effect to its immutability. Now problem occurs when our instance variable is a mutable class. We have to take special care in dealing with those instance variables. These mutable classes have their own setter methods, which can change value of an object at any time. Let's take an example of java.util.date class. This class is a mutable class. Let's create a final date instance variable by name, mutable field1.
let's modify our class constructor to set date to this newly created, mutable field one instance variable. Inside constructor, we do this dot mutable field one equals new date. Taking in date dot get time to it. We could have directly assigned date coming as a parameter to this dot mutable field one. But as date class is mutable, we should not do like this. Here, if we had assigned date to mutable field 1 directly, then we could have changed state of it through date class setter method. Thus, we should be little careful while doing this step. Always create a new instance while assigning a value for a mutable Java class. Let's create getter method for this mutable field one instance variable. Finally, one last step would be, when returning a mutable instance variable, it should not be returned directly as created. As what we discussed above, date class is a mutable class having its setter methods. Doing this, will return a date to caller method and thus, he can modify the state using its setter method. In order to prevent this, we should always return newly created date object, by copying content from instance variable using getTime method. Thus, one important step to remember is, always return new instance for mutable objects. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to make a Java class immutable concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com